Hello, in this lesson we'll be learning how to create a PHP and MySQL based hit counter for our Flash Action Script 3 files. Maybe we have a full Action Script 3 website, we want to track different individual sections on that website. We can do that using this lesson. Hello everybody, today we'll be learning how to create a Flash Action Script 3 PHP and MySQL hit counters for our individual flash pages if we happen to have a full flash website or an application that has different sections that we want to track. Okay, so what we'll do is first let's read the posts. Hey, earlier I saw this tutorial and I tried it on my website. I want to know how to use the MySQL method for the hit counter. Any help would be appreciated. And he shows the link for the old hit counter tutorial that I made and in this tutorial I show how to make a hit counter using a text file database and PHP that way it holds the count for how many pages or how many views that page has and it'll increment each time the page is accessed by a browser and so what we'll do in this one is show you how to have pretty much the same method and I'm gonna use this same file the same source file since most of our source files are free from develop PHP you can go to the flash tab and get to both of them if you need to over here at the uh, in the main categories here whenever they come up right there right there in the flash action script 3 tutorials you'll find both of these the one that is the the text file database database method and then this new one will be here in the working with PHP and MySQL the hit counter Okay, so what we'll do is use the same files from this old hit counter and just adapt it a little bit to be able to work with PHP and MySQL. And I'll show you what I did to get that to happen. And I'll I'll have these files free available at the develop PHP. In case you want to just snatch up the files. Okay, so the first thing I did is I went into the uh, the flash action script 3 file and here's my simulated home page here's the little number of hits thing and if you need insight into how this file was made the whole video lesson is available for it okay so what we'll do is go into the action script and I'll show you what I changed all I changed was what you want to do is put the path and the file name to your hit parse file right here and mine is not going to be active but this is the method on how you make it. Mine on page develop PHP, the demo is not going to be an active it's not going to be actively counting hits. But trust me this works. Okay, so what you do is change the request code from what we had it before to home page. And I did that just so if you had an about me page or services page, portfolio page, you can just send those respective request codes to the PHP parse file and it will update that page's row in the database okay so all I did was change that and you would put the path and the file name for your PHP parse file here and so that's all I changed in the flash file that's it, it was that one line basically the request code and in the PHP file <coughs> I discuss this one because here's where the magic happens to make this functionality occur not so much in the flash file okay so to make this functionality occur for you you have to understand a few things you have to know how to create a MySQL database on your server for your website and here you can see in the MySQL course if you click that at develop PHP you'll see in the first section getting started with MySQL and PHP a link that says creating a MySQL database on your host server you will want to read that page to get the MySQL database created on your server and then at uh, step 7 there's a page that shows you once you get the database created there's a script here I have that shows you how to connect to your MySQL database through an include file so we put all the database connection settings connect to the database and to use this connected database file anytime you need in your PHP uh, scripting to 
communicate with your MySQL database, you just run this little include line here. Require connect to MySQL. It makes life easy so you don't have to have this connection data in all of your PHP scripts. You can just throw this one line in and all of the connection data is then included. And then you can run your MySQL queries. Okay, so now that we understand that, we all have to understand how to create a table in our database. So let's go back to the MySQL course and you'll create a table here creating tables through script now you can do this through PHP my admin or you can do this through script and here I show a method of how to create a table easily through script and your table would want to say want to be named uh, let's see I named it in this example page hits is the table name so you would put create table page hits instead of members it would say page hits that would be the table name and you have an ID field you would have a page name field say it's home page or whether it be the services page or portfolio page you would have a field named page name you see our script as a field named page name it's trying to connect to so you'll have to have that in a database and each page would have its own name that you would assign it and then you put a field called hit count hit underscore count so you'll have three fields ID page name and hit count and that's it you wouldn't need these other rows or these other fields just three fields and so that's how you get a database built connect to it and create a table inside of it for storing the data that we need okay so now that we understand all that let's talk about this little script here and there's really not much to it I yeah, I'm gonna splice in this little edit right quick here. Yeah. I have uh, no variable name set here for this SQL query, which is needed. SQL equals the MySQL query select. That way, when you run the MySQL fetch array result set on that, uh, you can just run the result set on that variable. See that variable sitting right there. And if you didn't have that the script, it wouldn't work. So I just wanted to put this little edit in, sorry, keep going. I just changed the parse file, the hit parse file from the original tutorial to course to communicate to a MySQL database this time instead of creating a text file database or cor or communicating to the text file database to increment the hit count and then return the value. So what we do in the first section here is we include our connect script and I put you don't have to put it in a folder. If you have your connect to MySQL script sitting in the same directory as your flash file, then you wouldn't put a folder name here. But most people put their connect scripts and things like that in a folder. So I just put scripts is the folder name and inside of it is the connect file. So if I mean if you want the connect file sitting in the same directory as your flash file and everything then it's no problem. You just don't put this folder association. Just the file name. Okay, so on line six we say if the post request equals home page, which it is from our file in Flash, uh, when we want to track the home page hits, then we take the posted variable and we place it into a local PHP variable for easier use down in our in our connection to our MySQL database, our query. Now we're going to query the database twice. The first query is to update the hit count of that page. So you say update page hits set hit count equals hit count plus one. And that's how you can easily increment a a number variable or a, a stored number in your database. You can just increment it by one, increment it by five, whatever. And then so you hit count plus one where page name equals page name and in this case it's going to equal home page so as long as you have a field in your database a row with the name a page name of home page then it will increment that page and that's what you want then the next line is select the hit count we're going to access the value of what the new hit count is and send it back to flash for display select hit count from page hits which is the table name so we're selecting the field hit count from table page hits 
where the field page name equals home page. Limit 1, and I use limit 1 here because we only have one result set coming from this query, so we can effectively limit it to 1 to keep things efficient. All right, now here, line 14 is where we run the while loop on the MySQL array that comes out of that query. And we just put the, the row variable into a local variable here. So we get the hit count that we selected from this query, put it in a local variable here, and then outside of the while loop, we simply print back to flash. The PHP count bar is now new num, which is the new number we accessed from the variable after we incremented it. And that's how the whole system works. And I think that is pretty much it. I'm going to wrap up the source files, the PHP script, uh, the flash files, so you can see how all the code communicates back and forth to make all this happen and uh, da, 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 da. you have to have uh, PHP enabled on your server and a MySQL database really simple one and this is not very hard it should only take you about 20 minutes to bang out a little project like this okay we'll see you next lesson